Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a requested video, which is a rundown of the My Burberry fragrances. I was gonna do all the Burberry fragrances in one video, but there are just too many. So I'll leave the link to my other video where I'm gonna cover off all the others, but I put My Burberry all together because it's a relatively new range and there are five different types of My Burberry, so enough for one video. If you're new here, then welcome to my little piece of perfume on the internet where everything is all about perfume. And do subscribe for more reviews and rundowns of different types of perfume ranges and like perfume note videos. And I'm basically just always publishing different perfume videos. So the original My Burberry came out a few years ago with Cara Delevingne and Kate Moss as a sort of advertising campaign behind it. Um, I actually smelled this on someone the other day and that's what reminded me to do this video. It is really quite a floral perfume, um, which you don't necessarily get from the packaging or the advertising where there aren't really any flowers. This is a very rosy, freesia perfume. There's a little bit of sweet pea that you get at first. They've also used quince, um, which is quite a fresh but almost heavy fruit. There's geranium, there's patchouli, it's kind of like a whole garden of different floral scents. But then you've also got um, that classic patchouli in there which helps make it last. So to me, this is definitely a floral perfume and the Eau de Parfum is relatively heavy um, for the first hour or two. Now the Eau de Toilette is a much simpler version of the Eau de Parfum and I actually prefer it. It's much lighter, it's peony as well as the rose and the freesia. They've put lemon blossom in here as well. It's much lighter floral notes which makes it I think a little bit more prettier and a little bit more modern but of course the problem with the Eau de Toilette is it is much weaker so you're not going to get very long out of this at all, maybe an hour and then you're going to have to really smell your skin to get it. So next is my Burberry blush which is a much more younger fresher version of my Burberry. They've added some fruity notes in here so it's pomegranate and it's like green apple. It's fresh, it's zesty, definitely really good for spring summer whereas I'd say that original my Burberry Eau de Parfum was more of an autumn winter fragrance. There's wisteria in here, there's even like a nice citrusy lemon when you first spray it. So this is really pretty, like really nice for perhaps a young girl or someone who just wants something that's very easy going, light, fresh, zesty, with a little bit of that um, floral in there, but predominantly just fresh. So next we have My Burberry Black, which is, as you would expect, a heavier version of My Burberry. Now it isn't aromatic, I've heard people describe this as aromatic and it isn't because it isn't spicy at all. What it is, is like a heavy amber and there's a peach note in here as well, which mix with that heavy rose kind of make it feel um, almost incense-y but not spicy at all so it's more deep um uh, yeah amber is the best way i can describe this and the patchouli really comes through in a deep way mixing with the the deepness of the rose and the deepness of the amber to create what is a much like a very cozy wintry ambery note um quite different from the floralness of the original and then lastly we have my burberry black elixir now this is quite different to my burberry black um so ignore the fact that it has the black in the name again this is essentially an almond perfume so imagine having like candied almonds at christmas time and then they put loads of lemon zest in here so it's not like a fresh zesty lemon it's like a the actual rind from the lemon and mixed with the almonds it makes a really different unusual perfume that um, you don't really get in many other places I'm hard to think of a perfume that's like it they've removed the patchouli which is in all the others and instead there's a woody sandalwood base the one thing that remains that's consistent is rose that's in all of these so it remains with that nod to the floral but it's really a sort of winter almond floral. This also only comes in a 30ml x2 
extract de parfum so it's a really concentrated almost syrupy almond perfume um really different to the others and really perhaps a bit more special a bit more unusual and much less generic than the typical floralness of the original my burberry so I hope you found that rundown useful for my Burberry range. Let me know if you wear any of these or if you've tried them or what you think of them. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you found it useful. But that's it, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!